welcome to another episode of Kilroy Was Here. This episode is special as we're going to dig into why we call our series of film reviews and retrospectives Kilroy Was Here. I'm Matt Broman, your host and the president of the Evil Cotty Legal Services Foundation. Today we're going to dig into how Kilroy Was Here became the first meme in American culture and what it means for us. Kilroy Was Here was a chalked-on saying that appears to have initially been written in place on ship hulls by an inspector named James J. Kilroy. He did this because at this time during World War II, riveters and welders would be paid on the basis of how many sections they completed, but they would frequently mark out the markings that indicated when an inspector had come through. Mr. Kilroy, it seems, decided to prevent this by putting Kilroy was here in more durable crayon in the hull spaces. Well, when these ships reached the front lines, soldiers and sailors would see these markings in places that it was inexplicable that anyone could have gotten to after construction, and so they decided it was some sort of a spiritual or spectral, a ghost leaving markings. It also happened to sync up very well with a pre-existing tradition from the Australian Armed Services where they would use the phrase, foo was here, or the British Armed Forces where they would use a image of a man called Mr. Chad or Chad. Now, Mr. Chad was a cartoonist, uh, a cartoon derived by a British cartoonist in 1938 that featured a long-nosed human being just poking over the fence. Over the course of the war, this image of the long-nosed person peeking over the fence would get various names and, honestly, had a life all of its own. Some of the other names include Smo, Clem, Flywheel, Private Snoops, Overby, and Sapo. But the one version of the Kilroy Was Here doodle that had the longest independent life was called the Jeep. For fans of Popeye, you'll know that the Jeep is a magical character that plays along with Popeye and has a face that looks very similar to the doodle of Kilroy Was Here. That's because as Mr. Chad was merging with Kilroy in the minds and imaginations of soldiers and sailors of all nations in the Allied forces, the Jeep was also emerging. The Jeep, or general purpose vehicle, four-wheel drive, would become a magical creature in Popeye's mythos because service members would frequently speak about how the Jeep could solve any problem. That then turned into the cartoonist of Popeye using the Jeep as a magical character and using the facial expression of the Jeep Doodle, which was the same as Mr. Chad and the same as Kilroy, as the image. So you see, this image and slogan, Kilroy was here, was first observed out of a mundane curiosity of sailors being shipped across to Europe. But very quickly, the sailors and soldiers chose to adopt it as a way of sending reassuring messages to those who were going into harm's way. Kilroy was here would be chalked, inked, painted, graffitied onto all sorts of things all across the Allied theater. Eventually, it became so ubiquitous that German intelligence, seeing the phrase on captured American equipment, caused Adolf Hitler to believe that Kilroy was the name of some high-level Allied spy. By the time of the Potsdam Conference in 1945, Kilroy was here had even been stenciled into the VIP bathroom that Stalin used, which caused him to ask his Soviet aides who Kilroy was. Again and again as the war went on, Kilroy was here was a phrase that allowed every American service member facing death to know that at least he wasn't going into uncharted territories, that Kilroy had been there before him. And even though everyone knew there was no actual person Kilroy who had gone to all of these places, 
The doodle served to reassure soldiers and sailors and airmen that they were part of a bigger operation and that they were not alone. As a result of this, even after the war, Kilroy was here was a largely held, commonly used image to express solidarity between veterans of the war. It ended up being the title of a 1947 movie. In 1948, in Bugs Bunny cartoons, they put Kilroy was here on the surface of the moon in the debut of Martian the Manhunter. And finally, when the World War II Memorial was built in Washington, D.C., Kilroy was here was etched onto the memorial itself because it was so ubiquitously associated with the World War II experience by Americans in the Atlantic and European theaters. Kilroy was here as a result serves as one of the first identifiable modern memes, an image that takes on deeper meaning and is communicated by people without anyone really having the right to say they created it or they've copyrighted it, but rather using it as a communication shorthand to express community and connection. I can think of no better title for us to use for our film series mascot and logo. And as a result, as we go through the World War II experience through film, we're going to constantly reference Kilroy, because Kilroy was here, as we are now. So what does Kilroy was here really mean for us? I think it means that World War II is a tremendously consequential event in the history and community of which we are all a part. I don't think there's a family in this country who doesn't have some World War II story that is meaningful and impactful for them. And I don't think it's possible for us to look at the world we live in without treating World War II as a tremendously significant event for all of us. So for me, Kilroy Was Here is a way for me in 2021 to bring to us the community who is living in the shadow of these events and the stories that we've told about those events into some kind of current perspective and context. It's often said that those who do not remember history are doomed to repeat it, but I think that misses a point. History is not often forgotten. Rather, the true events of the past are almost always retold, reconfigured, and reshaped to fit our current reality. So it's not that we're doomed to repeat history if we don't remember it. It's that our view of the present and the possibilities of the future are shaped by how we understand our past. And artistic creations of the past, stories set in the past that are telling what happened in the past, often are more important for how we understand our history than anything written by a historian, by any document that's unearthed, by any autobiography that's written by people who lived through it. So Kilroy Was Here is my attempt to share with you and to start a discussion with you about what these artistic creations mean for us here and now. The legend of Kilroy hasn't ended with World War II. It seems there is something truly powerful about the idea of a character who has been everywhere. Since World War II, Kilroy Was Here has been scribbled onto the Statue of Liberty, the Arc de Triomphe in Paris, and even atop Mount Everest in the Himalayas. He's even shown up in the credits to the current TV show, Community. He's been used in all sorts of media. Kilroy Was Here is a product of the Evocati Legal Services Foundation, Map Roman President. This project and every other project of the Evocati Legal Services Foundation is done to bring awareness and support to veterans and active duty service members. If you want to be a part of our project, please join us over at www.evocati.org.in. We are committed to serving those who have served us all.